YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up, it's your boy Jarvis. Once again, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna give you three tips to help you find a football team to play for overseas. Before we get into this video, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you like football content, if you like game day vlogs, and also weekly vlogs. So basically, I was sitting at home thinking of ideas for videos and stuff, and I just came across this. I saw some other guys did it on YouTube, so I was like, all right, let me do my version, you know, telling my story of things that I've done in the past, telling me to get notice overseas. But before we start, I'm going to say that I've been playing football overseas for four years. My first year was in Australia, and I did three years in Germany. My first two years in Germany were with the Langefeld Longhorns, and then my last year and this previous year was with the Cologne Crocodiles. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for a while, so I know what to do and what not to do. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I got some stuff on my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and read it off for you. All right, so the first thing I'll say to do is get a passport. That's rule number one or tip number one. Get a passport. If you don't have a passport, teams won't even look in your direction. So make sure you get the passport. Like that's one of the first things teams will ask you. Do you have a passport? If not, are you getting one next week or in the month? So they let you know if they want to take you or not or wait for you. There's no point in waiting on someone who doesn't have their passport. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And like, if you do have your passport, teams are like, I bet you got your passport, let's get things rolling. And then want to buy your ticket or plane ticket in advance or even months in advance, you know what I'm saying? So it saves money on their end. So they probably buy your ticket probably three months out, four months out, and they need your passport information to do that. So if you don't have your passport, it's a, it's a wrap for you. And also, if you don't have your passport, go ahead and get started now so you don't have to wait to find out or have this problem later. Get your passport started now. It takes some time now, so go ahead and start it now if you don't have it so you can be ready by next year or probably comes early if you get an expedited and stuff like that. All right, tip number two, europlayers.com. Europlayers.com is basically like a Facebook for athletes to have different sports on there, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, rugby, and stuff like that. So it's basically like, like I said, a Facebook for athletes, you know? Um, so once you go on there, the first thing you do will make an account, you know, a typical social media account. You make your account, fill out all your attributes, your stats and stuff like that. And then make sure you put your stuff down or stats down accurately, because teams, they will check up on them, but hey, I thought you said you run a 4-2. Right, you're on the four six. Also, upload your game film. Um, on my profile right now, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. I think I have my past um, Langenfeld film, and I think that's it. Maybe my past two seasons at Langenfeld. I haven't put my Cologne Crocodiles highlight tape up yet because I'm still working on that. But yeah, yeah, add your uh, game film and then um, some pictures so they can see what you look like. If they see, oh, all right, does he look the part? If not, uh, yeah, he's a skinny kid. I don't know if I want him to play the outside linebacker, a middle linebacker, right? So it makes some sense. So yeah, <clears throat> make sure you do that. Upload film and also pictures. Um, rule number three or tip number three, connections. Connections is really big. It's like marketing, you know what I'm saying? So like word of mouth. Everyone knows somebody that used to play overseas or still plays overseas or even lives overseas and they can help you out. Also, that helps with... Coaches ask, hey, do you know this guy? Yeah, how is he? Does he play good? Is he fast? Is he this? And stuff like that. Word of mouth goes a long way. And also just simply just asking people, you know. Also, hit teams up and coaches on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Like, you can go on teams' websites and look at every coach they have, search their name up on Instagram or Facebook, and just communicate that way. It's easy now. It's basically a free game, you know what I'm saying? So. Go ahead and do that. It's nice and easy. It's simple. And those are the three tips. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, more videos coming soon. Peace.